Kalakala Kamuka was in Sukanda. He is in Jambala Kawaida. Tunam to Kuzamu Wali Hai. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Now come on, Amini, to Abudu Kamoja. Watch out to Kamkabi, the Munga Mamma's Lishi by Dialeho. Haki Kamuan and Akutenda Jambo Kamisha. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! To Kawaza Kabudu, to Kamwe Shimungu, to Kawaza Kusimama Kumabudu Mungu, to Kisema on Yale ambayo mimi siyawezi wewe Yesu naweza. Haleluya. Haleluya. Sante Yesu. We have been protected by God of the Father. From last week. Tumepita na mengi huku na kule. We've gone through many experiences. Lakini Mungu ama mwanzilishi. But God of the Father, Mother. Na maombi ya mtumishi wake. And by the press of his servant. Ametulinda na ametukinga na haya yote. Has secured us from all that. Ndiyo maana tukombele zake asubu ya leo. That's why we are before him this morning. Kwa hivyo tumeletua kwa sababu. So you have been brought because. Mungu ana kusudi na roho zetu. God has a purpose towards our soul. Mungu ana lengwa na maisha yetu. God has a target towards our lives. Unapo letua kila wakati. Whenever you are brought every time. Jaliwa na Mungu kukusudi ya kitu mbele. Be enabled by God to determine something before him. Don't resemble Every time determine something before Kila God. Upia. Every time be ready afresh. Upia. Prepare yourself afresh. Because the servant of God is prepared afresh for ourselves. So don't be as usual every time. Kila uwe na imani mpia. Every time have a new faith. The servant of God taught us last week. He told us whenever we are in pale, pale, Mungu na tue, na imani Right there we ought to believe in God and believe that he can be able to save us. Hali hizo hizo. In the same conditions. Katika shida hizo hizo. In the same problems. Katika mateso hayo hayo. In the same afflictions. The pains you feel in your body. Hapo hapo wakika kabisa mimi nami nitatoka kama wale wengine. Right there believe that you will be saved like any other person. 
Ndipo ndugu yangu utaona Mungu akifanya kazi na wewe. That's when you will see God working with you. Tumisha Mungu tushuhudie mara kwa mara. The servant of God testifies every time. Hali zake zote alizopitia. All the experiences he encountered. Tena siku ya muda mfupi. Again not shortly. Kwa miaka mingi. For so many years. Mimi upata moyo sana. I normally say get the encouragement. Upata moyo sana, upata imani sana kwa ajili ya ushuhuda wa mtumishi wa Mungu. I'm normally encouraged because of his testimony. Kwa hivyo na wewe kila wakati. So you do every time. Anapokushuhudia, anapotufundisha. Whenever he teaches you. Kusudia upya ndugu yangu. Determine fresh brother be ready a fresh kila wakati every time maana mungu anamtayarisha mtumishi wake because god is preparing his servant ajili yako we mwenyewe for your sake yourself kwa hivyo ukusudie so determine na uwe tayari and be ready hali hiyo yako si kitu your state is nothing shida yako hiyo si kitu your problem is nothing upungufu wako si kitu your shortages are nothing mabonjo yote uliyonayo si kitu your diseases are nothing kusudia mungu anaweza wa mama mwanzilishi na mtumishi wake determine god is able kusudia kabisa determine totally jiweke tayari kabisa determine totally penda zaidi ya vile and more than you used to do utaona mungu akifanya kazi you'll see god working kuna neno la ajabu there's a wonderful word mungu amelitayarisha god has prepared hata mimi sitaki kwenda mbele sana i can't move any further sitaki kuchukua huo muda i don't want to exhume his time naomba kwa jina la yesu i ask in the name of jesus tunamishe vichwa vyetu we bow down our heads asante mungu wa baba missionary na mama mwanzilishi ninakushukuru mungu mwema kwa ajili ya upendo wako mkuu Umetuinda bwana umetusimamia wiki yote Mungu wa rehema nyingi umetupenda bwana umetulinda kutuokoa na yale na yale umetuleta tena mbele zako asubuhi ya leo maana umetarisha neno jipya ndani ya mtumishi wako ajali ya bwana kila mmoja mkubwa kwa mdogo ya Mungu mwajali ya Mungu mama mwanzilishi kule kusikiliza upya kule kupenda upya kuwa na imani upya Mungu wa rehema nikiamini bwana uko pamoja nasi naifungua ibada hii mikononi mwako bwana nikiamini mwana wa Mungu uko pamoja nasi asante mwokozi kwa kwa uko tayari kunena nasi ndani ya mtumishi wako naamini bwana utatenda hivyo nani katika jina la Yesu mwokozi wetu amen amen Tulia ndugu yangu kwa uliko. Be settled wherever you are. Tulia sikiliza. Be settled and listen. Penda zaidi. Mtu wa Mungu ana neno la kutufungua. The man of God has a word to deliver you. Asubuhi ya leo. This particular morning. Karibu mtumishi wa Mungu. Welcome the servant of God. Kwa yale ambayo Mungu amekupa kwa ajili yetu. In what God has given you for our sake. Tawasalimu katika jina kuu la Bwana Yesu. Amen. Namani, do you have peace with you? Wewe leo ni Jumapili njema. So this is a good Sunday. Jumapili ya pekee Mungu wetu ametupa. A very special Sunday God has granted us. Tulinda tangu Jumapili. Yes, secure us from last Sunday. Ametuepusha na kila silofaa ametuleta pamoja. He has made us escape from all not worthy and brought us together. Karibuni sana kwa jina la kula Yesu Kristo bwana wetu. Welcome so much in the name of Jesus our Lord. Mungu wetu asiye na upendeleo. Our God is no respect of persons. Ametuleta tena pamoja. He has brought us again together. Tukumbushane. We remind ourselves lakini kabla hatujaendelea but before we move any further haleluya haleluya kuna yule mama we have our mother ile washuhudia tangu wiki jana that i testified from last week kule likoni from likoni aliyepiga simu who called me ameenda kwa matibabu she went for treatment mwana amepimwa the child was examined Nisemekana matumbo ya meosi and told the intense tones were rotten. Akapiga simu na usiku analia hii. She called at night crying and crying to me. Ndio nikamwambia sasa walia. I told her now you're crying. Ndio nikusaidie kulia. Should I help you to cry more? Ah hapana, ni nini? No, what is it? Naomba uombe mwanangu. I ask you to pray. Ametima ameambua matumbo ya meosi. My child has been examined and told the intestines are rotten. Ni kesho theater. So tomorrow they'll be going to the theater. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, okay. 
Aya kama wataka tuombe Mungu afanye kazi. Now if you want us to pray and go to work. Mungu umwendee huku na lia machozi. You can't go to God shedding tears. Uwe na amani kwamba yeye yuko. You must believe that he na is. Kwamba huapa thawabu wale wamtafuta. And he rewards those who seek him. Akatulia. She was calm from there. Afunga mach. Now close your eyes. Mungu akajidhihirisha. God manifested himself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Siwezi kuendelea maana mama huyo yuko hapa. I can't move on. That mother is here. Na mzee wake. With her husband. Sikilize ushuhuda huo live. We listen to the live testimony. Maana Yesu Kristo ni yeye yule jana. Because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday. Na leo na hata milele. And today and forever. Na mzee wake naye ni muuguzi. Her husband too is Anas. Lakini wenyewe watashuhudia. But they'll test by themselves. Mm. Kwa majina naitwa Raheli Masudi kutoka kanisa la Tumaini Likoni. My name is Rahel from Likoni. Mm. Nimekuja hapa kushuhudia hayo mambo Mungu wa mambo mazidisha amenitendea. I've come to testify what God the founder mother has done unto me. Mm, mwanangu aligonjeka this month tarehe sita. My child was sick this month 6. Akawa yupata choo lakini ni damu na matapishi. He used to relieve himself but vomiting and blood out. Aya nikatukaka hiyo tarehe sita. We stayed the whole day sick. Tukakaa siku mbili na hiyo hali. We stayed for two days with that condition. Siku ya tatu kufikia saa 12 jioni. Third day at around 6 in the evening. Mtoto sasa akawa yani yuarisha tu ni damu ni damu mpaka sasa ni ile hana nguvu tena unafanya kumbeba. Tu yani hajiwezi tena. Now the child was so exhausted because of diarrhea and blood. Tukamchukua mtoto tukakimbia hospitali pale Manyata. We took the child to Manyata Hospital. Kufika Manyata tukakosa matibabu tukakimbia Makadara. Getting to Manyata could not be treated. We went ahead to Makadara. Kufika Makadara tukapelekwa kwa picha mtoto akapigwa picha ya kwanza akaambiwa matumbo yameoza. To Makadara he was scanned then he was told the intestines were rotten. Tukapigwa tupige tena ya pili akapigwa picha ya pili kaambiwa matumbo yameoza na sasa ni apelekwe surgery. Yaani Hakuna vile naizaka. Now we were told to go for the second scanning then they told us the intestines were still rotten. Na bado mtoto ni hiyo cho yuarisha yotapika. And you were still vomiting and diarrhea during that time. Asa kufikia saa tisa tu nini daktari wamesema tu saini kufikia saini asubui awa shaenda kufanyua surgery. We were to sign and he was to be taken for surgery. Nika kosa nguvu nika sema nitafanyaje. I was... I was not strong enough from there. Yaani kampigia mtumishi wa Mungu. I call the servant of God then. Ishmael Mwazombo Rimba. Ishmael Mwazombo Rimba. Huku nalia siwezi sasa ikabidi baba niweke moyo tena nimeisha. Crying that time I was asking him to encourage me. Anasema sasa umenipigia simu nikusaidie kulia ama tuombe. He told me are you crying I help you to cry or what? Naambia tuombe. I told him we pray. Anasema sasa kuwa na matumaini tunaomba na Mungu atapona na mtoto atapona. He said now you believe will pray and the child will be healed. Anasema sasa uko na matumaini? He says now you, are you believing in that? Suna unakumbuka Mungu alimponya Lazaro akawa amekufa? You remember God healed Lazarus when he was dead? Si ni Mungu huyo huyo. That is the same God. Ana wewe kwa natumaini tuombe tu na mtoto atapona. Now you trust will pray and the child will be healed. Nikakuwa na matumaini mtumishi wa Mungu akaomba. I heard the hope the man of God prayed. Akaomba akasema sasa kufikia mwisho anasema amini mtoto amepona na kesho utatoka. At last he said believe the child is healed and tomorrow he'll leave the hospital. Tukalala hiyo ilikuwa saa tisa usiku. That was three at night. Tukakaa kufikia asubuhi saa nne yule daktari mkubwa sasa wa surgery amefika. We stayed come ten when the senior surgeon came. Kufika akapewa zile karatasi na wale madaktari wengine anasema karatasi ndio hizi na mtoto sasa yani ni ile ameisha. Sasa ni haraka apelekwe apatoponyaje ama tayari atakuwa shaenda tumekosa mtoto. When he came he was given the report about the results of the child. Hapo hapo ndo nikaanza kuona Mungu sasa. Right there I started single. Jamani Mungu yuko. Haleluya! Haleluya! Huyu Mungu wa mama mwanzidishi yuko jamani tumtumaini. Haleluya! Haleluya! Daktari kufika anasema weka hizo karatasi. Karatasi hata ndo hizi. These are the papers. 
He said, set your papers there. The senior surgeon started examining the child himself. I had the stool in a container. I gave unto him the stool. He examined the stool. And connected the pipe through the nostrils to the intestines. And drew the food and examined. He said the child is okay. He said, you go and scan again. Everybody to believe the child is well and healed. We went for another scanning. When the photo came, the child was very well with no problem. Now, instead of going to the theater, we are told to be ready for this church. That is God, is it so? I, I thank the founder so much. May God bless you so much. He's very much okay. Buona sfio kanisa. Amen. Bwana siwe tena. Amen. Mimi pia namshukuru Mungu wa mama I also thank God of the founder. Kwa uwezo aliotupatia dadi siku ya leo ambayo tumefika hapa. For the favor he has given me to be here today. Na na yale mengi makuu aliyotutendea. And the exploits he has done unto us. Nakumbuka ilikuwa tarehe 7. I remember it was 7. Asubuhi kama saa 12. Morning at around 6. Nilikuwa niko kazi. I was working that time. Nikapigiwa simu na mke wangu. I was called by my wife. Mimi ni muguzi. I'm an as. Mimi naitwa Elijah Mangale. I'm called Mangale. Kutoka um, Likoni. From Likoni. Likoni tuko kazi tu lakini tunaishi Mwanguda. We we just working in Likoni but we come from Mwanguda. Mwanguda and Zomboard. So hiyo hiyo Saturday hiyo so Jumamosi tarehe saba. That Saturday 7 nilipopigiwa simu what I was called ni sikuweza kushika kwa sababu ya shughuli nyingi I could not pick because I was so busy but baadaye nikachukua simu but later on I picked the call and call her kupiga simu nikaambiwa mtoto amelala vibaya she told me the child na mwili ilikuwa moto na kutapika the child is vomiting in the area. So we have to go to hospital. I told her it's okay. I went to the hospital where the child was treated. I waited for them when they came. We checked on the child. He was not that serious. So we said, let's encourage ourselves and go home. And treat him at home. Ilipofika saa kumi na mbili jioni. Come six in the evening. Mtoto akaharisha. The child was diarrheaing. Ile muara yake sasa ndo ilikuwa iko na damu. Now the blood was full in the diarrhea. Kilichoni shtua ni ile damu. What scared me is the blood. Mkasema hi siyezi kaa na yao apa. This is not normal to stay with here. Lakini kwa kili kwa 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 kili yangu ime ime funi kwa na shetani. But because the devil came. Nika kimbilia hospital. I went to the hospital. Kufika hospitali pale Likoni Likoni sub county. Getting to Likoni sub county hospital. Wakafanywa um, investigations. They did investigations. Tukapata kiwango chake cha damu kimeshuka. We got the blood is very low. Ilikuwa iko 8.7. It was 8.7. Sasa nikasema sasa hii hii damu yenye inatoka kwa choo ndio inafanya mwanangu damu inapungua. 
This is what is lowering the blood of my child here. Sasa kungojea pale tuangalie maamuzi yao. Now when we are waiting for the judgment. Ni kama daktari hayuko kama anakuja kama haji. The doctor never turned up. Lakini kwa sababu mimi nami ni muuguzi. But because I'm an astro. Nikapiga simu makadara. I call makadara. So kambua wewe mlete mtoto tutemwangalie from this side. You bring your child we check him from this side. Kufika makadara. Getting to makadara. Tulikuwa walikuwa shakwa informed. They were already informed. So ikabidi nilipofika tu nkataja hilo jina. When I go there I mention the name. The request is was shandi kwa tayari. They had already written the report. So tukapewa request tukambua peleke ni lab mfanye hivi nenda mpige x-ray. I was told to go to the lab and x-ray everything. So x-ray ya kwanza the first x-ray wakaonyesha kwamba the ile tumbo imejaa gas. The intestine is full of the gas. No. So next wakasema kwa sababu hii hatuta rely on. They said now we can this. Tufanye ultrasound. We have to do ultrasound. Tukafanya ultrasound. We conduct ultrasound. 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 Mimi mwenyewe na macho yangu kwa screen yao. With my eyes on the screen. Nikaona it is iko yani zimekunjana kunjana. I saw the intestines are folded. Alafu pia ziko somehow greenish. Then again they are somehow greenish in color. Okay. So daktari akasema hii itabidi tufanywe surgery. So the doctor There's said no way. we have to take him for surgery. Sasa surgery na mtoto mdogo. Now surgery such a young child like this one here. Bibi yangu sasa kachukua simu. My wife took the phone. Akaanza kupigia ndugu. And start calling brethren. Wabiri. Preachers. Paka mwisho kampigia mtumishi wa Mungu. And call the servant of God lastly. Tayari tulikuwa tushambua tufungue file mtoto anafanywa ataenda kufanywa surgery kesho asubuhi. Already we told to open the file and the child to be ready for surgery the following morning. Kwa kili yangu nikasijua. In my understanding I knew. Huyu mtoto venye ako very playful. This child the way is playful. Sitaweza ku manage kucheza naye. I want manage. So kutupitia maombi ya mtumishi wa Mungu. So by the prayers of the servant of God. Akatujenga moyo. He edified us. Tukalala tukiwa na kilio. We slept crying that time. Kufikia saa 12 at around 6 bibi yangu alikuwa ashapewa consent, asha sign. My wife had signed ya kwamba apelekwe theater. To be taken. The Lakini ame sign but the same Lakini time, moyo bado uko na but una sita i'm still not comfortable with that aende asiende should she go or not ndugu alipotutembelea akatutia moyo a brother came maombi. and encouraged us and prayed for us kufikia saa mbili asubuhi at, at around 8 mtoto akapata choo the child relieved himself alipopata choo ile choo tukaihifadhi he relieved then we kept the stool so baada kuhifadhi ile choo after keeping the stool sasa ndiko ni ile wanangojea ni masaa tu aende theater only waiting for the hours to go to the theater so kufikia saa 4 ule daktari mkubwa akakuja mwenye alikuwa anafanyia surgery the senior surgeon came so alipofika when he came akasakauliza kuna choo yote mtoto amepata he asked do you have any stool from the child akamwambia ndio ndio hii hapa he was given the stool akavaa gloves zake akashika ile choo he wore the gloves and held the stool alipoangalia akasema when, when i don't examined. see any indication ya kufanywa hiyo surgery sasa hizi he said i don't see any symptom for the child to be taken to the surgery right akamfanyia rectal examination he did the examination So akapata pia iko sawa. He got everything is okay. So akajiuliza. He questioned himself. Where is where 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 is the indication for the surgery? Shida iko wapi? Akasema akasema He said then. Acha tumweke pipe tuangalie chakula kutoka kwa tumbo. Let's check the food from the stomach. Tuangalie iko 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 vipi. How it is? Wakachukua akaweka pipe akatoa ile chakula kidogo wakapata iko sawa. The food it was okay. Ah tufanye aje nendeni mfanye scan ultrasound nyingine go for another ultrasound kufikia kwa ultrasound nyingine sasa tumefanya after that nikawa niko na ndugu anaitwa chigamba i had a brother called chigamba ndugu chigamba nikamwambia i told brother chigamba hii ultrasound venye iko how this ultrasound sound si venye ilikuwa jana usiku it's not as it was at night no no okay sasa so wakaitana kamkutano wao wenyewe kwa wenyewe They go to a meeting. Kwa sababu ya kwanza alifanya ikabidi alitane mwanzake na yeye aje confirm hii kitu hiko ama hakuna. They had to call another doctor to confirm the results. Hizo nakumbuka hizo majibu hakutupatia. Walituambia tu nyinyi nendeni. They told us you go. Daktari atakuwa atawaambia kutoka huko. The doctor will tell you something else from there. So kufika kule so tumerudi ward akatuambia he told us huyu mtoto ako sawa. The child is okay. Kwa hivyo so nimjitarishe muende nyumbani. For this child. Through that, 
Namshukuru huyu Mungu wa mama anzilishi sana. I thank this God of the founder mother so much. Kwa sababu akili yangu ilikuwa imefika mwisho. Had got to the end. Ya kwamba tunafanya surgery. That we have to take the chance. Lakini huyu Mungu wa mama anzilishi. But this God of the founder mother. Akaanzia pale. Started from there. Akasema surgery haifanyiki kwa huyu mtoto na haikufanyika wapendo. He said nothing like surgery to this child. It never happened. Na kutokea siku hiyo mpaka leo mtoto ni mzima. Tunashukuru Mungu. I thank God. Kwa hayo machache Mungu awabariki. May God bless you so much. Makofi, makofi kwa Mungu wetu. Haleluya. Haleluya. Mtu wa ine. Fourth person. Mtu wa ine akatokezea. The fourth person appeared. Pale pale kwenye tanuru ya moto pale. Where the furnace of the fire was. Shedrak, Meshak and Abednego wametupwa. Shedrak, Meshak and Abednego casted. Wakidania, thinking maybe akutasalia kitu. Nothing will be spared. Hata mifupa itachomeka. Even the bones will be burnt down. Lakini mfalme alipoangalia, but when the king looked in, wametupwa watatu. Three were cast. Lakini sasa ni waine katika hiyo tabia. But now the fourth one is inside. Waine ni Bwana Yesu. The fourth one is the Lord Jesus. Akaja akawaokoa Shadrach, he came and saved Meshach, Shadrach and Meshach, na Abednego. And Abednego. Yesu wa tangu milele Jesus from then na sasa and now na hata milele and even forever Kawanao mtumaini to those who trust in him Kawanao mkimbilia to those who refuge unto him Kawanao mtegemea to those who depend on him Hallelujah Hallelujah ambao akili zao zimefika mwisho whom the understanding have got to the end moyoni mwao their hearts hawana lingine tena they don't have any other option again lakini hawezi fanya kazi na hujafika mwisho but they can't work yet to not go to the end bado una maneno ya mwingine hapa ndani ya moyo you still have some baka wewe umefika mwisho it's until you get to the end kwa moyo wako wote all heartedly na kwa akili zako zote and with all your understanding umemtumaini you've trusted in him from there wao baba mwanzilishi god of our founder father na mama mwanzilishi and our founder mother ni Mungu wa kazi. We sing is God of works. Ndio kazi zake ni. Those are the works. Basi ukisema enzi ya uponyaji ilikuwa zamani hizo. So when you say the healing. Pako wewe basi. The healing era is past to you. Lakini Yesu. But Jesus. Ni yule jana. Ni the same yesterday. Na leo. And today. Na milele. And forever. Na milele. And forever. Na milele. And forever. Na milele. And ever. And ever. And ever. He'll never change. Lakini but anangoja yule aliyefika mwisho. He's waiting for one who has got to the end. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, aliyefika mwisho. One was got to the end. Mama anasema wamesema operation sijui nifanyeje mwambie ni la wewe na mzee wako. I told her don't bother about the operation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo so haya yote yanafanyika. All this is happening ili that kuthibitisha kwamba to confirm that Mungu wetu our God yuko pamoja nasi is together with us hajabadilika bad he has not changed yet wamesema kanisa la likoni tumaini they've said likoni kanisa letu ile la likoni lile our church in likoni lakini ile area inaitwa tumaini kanisa la tumaini likoni it's called tumaini likoni hao wanaokoa na mzee Charles Manongo mzee wetu hapa huko Manguda their relatives to our elder Charles Manongo from Manguda hallelujah hallelujah kwa hivyo So mtu wa ine Yesu the fourth person Jesus akaja kwa matumbo yaliyooza came to the rotten intestines yakawa safi they were clean kwa jina la Yesu in the name of Jesus Amen Amen Kwa hivyo so ikiwa Mungu alifanya hilo if God did that wewe lako liwe gumu kwa nini how will your matter be complicated na mungu wetu hana upendeleo and our god is no respect of persons hana upendeleo he's no respect of persons anafanya kazi na waaminio he works with those who believe shara hizi these signs alisema bwana yesu the lord jesus said zinafuatana they shall follow na wale waaminio those who do believe kwa jina langu watatoa pepo in my name they'll cast devils watasema kwa lugha mpya they'll speak in new tongues sile ya zamani ya matumbo kuoza not the old lugha mpya new tongues hallelujah hallelujah Lugha mpya new tongues 
Not crying every time. I'm of problems. I'm of tribulation. No place in my house. When you believe in the Lord Jesus, that language will come to an end. And the new tongue will come. New tongue. New tongue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yesterday night, at around 10.30, one brother pastor from Busia he was calling he was so critical what is it pastor he was roaring like a, a swine he could not speak well fever from the other day I've really suffered my chest is congested my head coldness the voice was not coming out clear. Should we listen to him? He was truly fighting the battles. He is a servant of God. Pray for me. Our preacher preaching in Busia. Okay. He says, I've suffered from the other day, but. And the chest was so congested. I told him, close your eyes. So long as you press it to God. And God says, those who refuge unto him will get the mercy. Now we pray to God of the founder. In the name of the Lord Jesus. You who took the diseases and all the witnesses. One trusting in you. And you said, when you pray anything in your name, you'll do it. For the Father God to be glorified in you, Jesus Christ. Take away the infirmity of the Father. And all the illness of the Father. And in his chest. In the name of Jesus, our Savior. Now, Pastor, I believe. Thank you. He was panting that time. We woke up this morning. I was thinking, who was to preach there today? He never called me. Around 8. Hi, Pastor. Okay, Pastor Morning. He was laughing and taking tea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor Magaston, you Pastor Magaston, he was laughing. These are wonders. I'm very much okay. Right now, I'm taking tea ready for the service. And the, and the condition you had Apo, truly, in that point he was roaring mm. like mm. a pig what? Okay. right now he's preaching on the pulpit amen, amen. that is happening why hallelujah hallelujah so that your faith to be confirmed that our God has not forsaken us. us. He has not changed. He's God of works. And his works himself will never work all the As the sun from the foundation of the world. Every time it's burning. When you come out, you'll get a heat. And its temperature will never get down. The same way the power of Jesus too. Jesus is the same yesterday Leo, and today na milele, and forever na milele, na milele, na milele. and forever and evermore. Lakini hapani kazi penye but he doesn't work where you are double-minded. You come for prayers after being told the intestines of the Feeling you're told in your stomach that this way. I don't know I was told that this and this. Other people's voices are talking in you. It's until you get to the end. You are seeing, you should only be seeing Jesus. But you see that. I was told. In my stomach, there's this stuff. I was told. In my leg, there's this stuff. So so you, you've not finished that to come to Jesus. Jesus, come unto me, I will not come to you. And heavenly land, and I'll give you rest. No man, you've got to the end. 
Sasa umemwatazama yeye. So you hope in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hapo atafanya kazi. Right there he'll work. Atafanya kazi. He will work. Hili nimepitia mengi. I've gone through many experiences. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Afanye kazi na mtu amekata tamaa. He doesn't work with one who has despaired. Anaona he sing moyoni mwake in his heart anaona he sing machoni mwake in his eyes anaona he sing ana sauti za wengine anazosikia he's listening to other people's voices muganga alisema the sorcerer said mtaalamu alisema the expert said sasa waja now you come kama kutimiza sheria ya maombi fulfilling the order of the prayers mungu afanye kazi god doesn't work that way hallelujah hallelujah afanye kazi he doesn't work that way anasema katika mathayo 11:28 he says in matthew 11:28 semea hapo anasema njoni kwangu ninyi msumbukao he says come unto me all of you labor na ambao mmelemewa na mizigo and heavily burden anafanya kazi na waliolemewa he works with those who are burdened waliofika mwisho who go to the end ambao akilini mwao in whose understanding they don't have any other hope they've tried all means hallelujah hallelujah they've got to the end hapo ndipo mungu anafanya kazi that's where god will work tumaini lako your hope umemwekea yeye you've set in him tegemeo lako your dependence iko kwake yeye is in him mawazo yako yote all your thoughts yako kwake yeye are in him basi hapo anafanya kazi so he'll work afanye kazi mtu mwenye niambili he doesn't work with a double minded person hallelujah Hallelujah. Nikamwambia yule mama, I told that mama. Mambo ya sajari ni yako wewe na mumeo si yangu mimi. About the surgery upon you. Mama nikwambie ni sawa hao hapana. But I tell you it's okay or not for the surgery. That's not me. Umeambiwa hivyo? You've been told so. Mumeo yuko. Your husband is there. Weke sahihi. You sign down. Fanyo surgery. And the surgery to be conducted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kasema hapana. She said no. Nataka maombi. I want prayer. Haya nyamaza. Now keep quiet. Wewe mwendea Mungu huku na kile unatoka. You can't go to God shedding tears and crying. Maana unamwendea baba. The child when you go to your father. Nataka kuletee zawadi. The father to bring you up. Maana anaenda Mombasa. Because he's going to Mombasa. Huku unalia machozi hii. And that time you are shedding tears and crying. Sasa kuonyesha huna tumaini naye. Showing you don't trust in him. Wataka sasa aone machozi yako to see your tears. Yakuhurumie. And be sympathetic unto. Mungu wetu si namna hiyo. Our God is not that way. Unapomwendea, whenever you go to him, amani, have peace. Kwamba yeye yuko. That he is. Na kwamba huwapa thawabu amtafutao. And he reward those who seek him. Ndio mama akanyamaza. That's when the mother was quiet from there. Haya kama umenyamaza hatu uombe sasa. You're quiet let's pray now. Mungu wetu anafanya kazi. Our God works there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anafanya kazi. He works. Hajabadilika baada. He has not changed yet. Ye yule jana leo na hata mbele kesho. Same yesterday today. Some of Matthew hiyo. Read for us Matthew. 11:28:29. Njoni kwangu ninyi nyote msumbukao na wenye kulemewa na mizigo, nami nitawapumzisha. Na wenye kulemewa na mizigo, nami nitawapumzisha. Jitieni nira yangu, mjifunze kwangu, kwa kuwa mimi ni mpole na mnyenyekevu wa moyo, nanyi mtapata raha nafsini mwenu. Kwa maana nira yangu ni laini na mzigo wangu ni mwepesi. Come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me for I am meek and lowly in heart and ye shall find rest unto your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Johnny, come unto me. Johnny kwangu ninyi msumbukao. Come unto me all of you labor. Na ambao mlemewa na mizigo. And heavy laden. Naam nitawapumzisha. And I'll give you rest. Jitieni nira yangu. Put upon my yoke na mjifunze kwangu kwa kuwa mimi ni mpole na mnyenyekevu wa moyo nanyi mtapata raha nafsi ni mwenu raha nafsi mwenu the rest in your souls si uponyaje alafu not healing the 50 halfway raha rest si hata usilale na ubavu huu not not being restricted hata usilalie kifua don't sleep upon your chair yesu alikuja jesus came tuwe na uzima that you have life kisha tuwe nao Tele. Then have it abundantly. Tele. Abundantly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio naona raha iko kwa wazazi wao leo. That's why you see the rest in these parents today. Maana ilithibitishwa because it was confirmed. Hata wataalamu wakasema hapa the expert said to this point. Ah, matumbo hayana shida tele. Now the intentions are very much okay. Hofu ikawaondokea kabisa. The fear went away from them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Raha nafsi ni mwenu. Rest in your souls. Je wewe for you. Do you have the rest in your soul? Raha. Rest. 
Rest in your soul. Uponyaji Healing. Wahakika. Certainly. Si huko wala chakula. Not eating huku food. Huko wakumbuka mimi ni na halifulani. Remem remembering sinama. I have this state with me. Unahisi kupona kweli. You feel healing. Lakini to raha haija umbika nani mwa. But the rest is not created in. Mana huja toseka. Because you are not satisfied yet. Mana kuna wakati bada ya wakati. Because there is a time after time. Kuna vitu huinuka. Some things spring in you. Now you've not got the rest in your soul. Amen. Amen. That's why I was here without the rest. I came to the Lord Jesus. To our God of the founder father here. But I didn't get the rest of the mara, baada ya mara, Time after time. Asma the asthma springs up again. Though I stayed two weeks feeling okay. But I've not got the rest in my soul. Na hisi, I feel. Kuna wakati baada ya wakati, seasonally. This test. problem comes back again. I was truly here in the headquarters, but I never got the rest that time. What is the reason then? Because still, I was praying to him. I've confessed the curse But I was not learning from Jesus. I was still one of bitterness. Whenever one wrongs me, I could not forgive. I could not pardon him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sasa ile raha kamili so the rest ya Yesu kunitia nira ya uzima Jesus giving you the yoke of life Mana nilikuwa bado niko kweli because I was there truly Nimeungama rana za kuchukia wazazi kweli I had confessed cursing my parents Za uchungu wa roho wazazi kweli the bitterness to my parents Lakini hata leo bado uchungu uko But even today I still have the bitterness Ni mtu sijajaliwa roho ya kusamehe I'm one not enable the spirit to forgive Na Biblia inasema And the Bible says Mnaposali na kuomba Whenever supplicate and pray Sameheni msiwe na neno juu ya mtu Forgive if you've ought against Mimi ni mani mwangu bado nina uchungu In my home I'm still bitter Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ni mtu na hesabu manyonge madogo 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 madogo. Counting madogo. petty things in the house. Ni mtu na zashinda siongei na wa nyumbani mwangu. I'm one I could stay without talking to my wife. Na si mambo ambayo yana maana. And these are not even valuable things. Nimeingia nyumbani. I've got to the home. Ameweka kitu kile pale kitu kile pale. She has arranged items in the house. Pepo ananipa kuhukumu. The devil gives me to charge. Mbona amesukuma kitu pale? Why she puts the chair? Na mbona ulikuwa umeweka kitabu chako hapa amekiweka pale? Why did she move your book from this side to that side? Very petty things. Vinafanya roho yangu haina kusamehe. Not to forgive. Sijajitia nira yake bwana Yesu. I've not put on the yoke of Jesus. Anasema, he says, jitieni nira yangu mjifunze kwangu. Put on my yoke and learn from me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because Jesus put up with us. I had not learned from the Lord. He said to forgive. I don't have the power to forgive. I have something upon something. My own partner. And in the midst of brethren. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I felt. Why the rest of getting to wellness I don't have. That's why I buy the teachings. And many teachings. And many teachings. And many teachings. I found myself. I've not got to the rest of perfect because in my soul I have not, not put on the yoke of Jesus and learned of him hallelujah hallelujah na roho isiyo ya kuachilia have a spirit not letting things go na Mungu hafanyi kazi mahali hapajasamehe and God doesn't work where you don't forgive yule mwalifu ale msalabani the robber on the cross akasema say sisi tuko hapa we are here kwa makosa yetu due to our trespasses huyu hajafanya kosa lolote this one has done nothing amiss he never blamed those who crucified him. Even those who whipped him. He never did that. He knew I am on the cross here. Due to my trespasses. It's my right to be whipped and nailed. He never blamed anybody. That's why I pray to Jesus. Remember me. When you come to paradise. He never had something to the husband or the wife. He never blamed the Jews. He never blamed the Jews. He never blamed the Jews. Then pray Jesus. Remember that me. When you come to paradise. Jesus told him, not when I go, but today, we'll be together in paradise. He's in heaven even today. 
Anasema kweli he says truly mujiteni raha yangu tena mujifunze kwangu my yoke and learn of me kwa mimi ni mupole na mwenyekevu wa moyo meek and lowly in heart ndipo mtapata raha nafsi ni mwenu that's when you get the rest in your souls ni mupole his meek na mwenyekevu wa moyo and low in heart najifunza kunyenyekea i'm learning to humble myself alipo tukano hako remesha matukano when he was reviled he never reviled back alipo laumiwa hako laumu mtu when he was blamed he never blamed anybody alipo testo hako ogofya when he was afflicted he never scared anybody alipo yeye haukumwie kwa haki he dedicated the righteous yeye akatafuta kwa bidii kwa na amani na watu he sought to follow peace with all men ndio hata alipo wekwa kaburini that's why when he was taken to the sepulchre siku ya tatu that day Wezo ulikuja akatoka. The power came he was out of the tomb. Ana haki akataka. He never had the right to stay in the tomb. Mtu ambaye hakuwa ananao na mtu. One who never had anything Leo against him. Leo awe kivipi? Today to stay in the tomb how? Akatoka. He came out of the tomb. Raha na sini. Rest in the soul. Je wewe una raha na sini mwako? Do you have the rest in your souls? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Basi nilipofundishwa. So when I was taught. Rimba wewe. Rimba for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Naombea watu na wazee wa kanisa. I'm prayed for by the church elders. Nitafuta mashauri wananitafuta. Before I seek them they seek for me. Mshauri amenituma nikuulize je umepona? Mshauri sent me to ask you are you well? Kazi unazifanya wewe kijana unafaa kupona. The works you do young man you ought to be well. Ni kweli ninabidi. It's true I'm hard working. Dana za wazazi nimeungama. I've confessed all the curses to my parents. Pa wazazi. Spirit vexation to my parents. Lakini hiyo lana ikao imenifanya. But the curse had made me. Uwezo wa kusamehe mtu sina. The part to forgive one I could not do that. Nimeungama kweli uchungu wa wazazi. I've confessed bitterness to my parents. Nipo hata leo na uchungu wa jirani. But still I'm bitter to my neighbor. Jirani wa kwanza ni baba na mama. The first neighbor is your father and your mother. Mkeo au mumeo. Your wife or your husband. Jirani yako au unaishi naye. The neighbor you stay with. Na ndugu kanisani. And brethren in church. Aman. Peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Basi ukis, ukis, so, ukiangalia, uni look around. Una imani kweli kwa Mungu? You truly believe in God. Lakini mbona usingii kwa raha na sinema mwako? Why should you why should you have the rest of your soul? kwa nani? From who are you learning from? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kijana wajifunza kwa nani? Young man, where are you learning from? Watazamia baraka zije kwako. You expecting blessings to come Kama unavyoshuhudiwa. As you testify to. Lakini vile unavyo Dania ungebarikiwa but the way you think you could be blessed kwa kutumikia Mungu na kutumika through serving God the way you serve lakini huwisi kwamba you feel that kufanikiwa na kufanikiwa the prosperity you have kuna staili iwe hivyo deserves to be that way zaidi you expect more than that maana wafanya kweli mapenzi ya Mungu hapa you are truly doing the will of God here lakini inaweza kuwa wamtenda Mungu dhambi kwa njia nyingine but maybe in one area you're committing sin to God Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Una mahali there's an area kujifunzi la Yesu. You don't learn that of Jesus. Una mahali there's an area umekataa kujifunza kwa Yesu. You've rejected to learn from umekataa Jesus. Umekataa kujifika nira yake. You've rejected to put on his yoke. Kujifika nira ya kusamehe having the yoke to forgive. Kujifika nira ya kutosema uongo. Putting on the yoke of not lying. Mtu wa uchungu. The one of bitterness. Bas. So Lazima ndani yako you must in utakuwa na upungufu raha the shortages will come the rest won't be complete raha kamili raha iko kwa Yesu the rest is there in Jesus hallelujah hallelujah raha the rest raha na sini mwana the rest in your soul hata ujue hakika ya kuwa till you know certainly kweli mimi ni mzima truly i'm well ndio nilipofundishwa hivi that's why when i was told that the lord enabled me nikawaza uchungu uchungu huu i thought this bitch is yesu akaniita leo should jesus call me today ingia mbinguni will i get to heaven kajibu mwenyewe hapana i said to myself no nikaomba bwana naomba mimi i prayed lord i asked na moyo wenye kuachilia i should have a heart to let it go usiweka neno na mtu that doesn't keep anything against anybody amani na watu wote peace with all men bwana niombe hivyo lord grant me that way nikatamani i desired nikatamani niumbike hivyo i desired to be created that way nikatamani ni raha hiyo i desired that Yo, Yo to na neno na mtu. not having anything against anyone. Mwana huo ndio ufalme wa mbinguni. Because that is the kingdom of heaven. Falme wa mbinguni si kule wala kunywa. The heavenly kingdom is not meat and drink. na amani. But righteousness and peace. Furaha and joy. Katika roho mtakatifu. In the Holy Ghost. Kashukuru Bwana. I thank the Lord. Akanijalia. He enabled me. Ni rahio. That yoke. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Akanijalia ni rahio. He enabled me that yoke. Kuanzia nyumbani mwangu from my own home. 
kutokuwa na neno not having anything hata yale alikuwa akilikosa kila saa never used to offend me every time nikaona i saw hayani kwazi tena they no longer offended me more yes, than that jesus christ amenijalia nira ya kuachilia enable me the yoke to let Basi it go hata yale kwa makosa so, was it mistake na mimi nilikuwa na lana ya uchungu wa roho i had the cancer of spirit vexation personally hata dada siku moja akaniuliza my wife asked me one day Awe ulikuwa kila siku mtu uchungutungu ulikuwa una nini? You used to be bitter every time. What was wrong with you? Nakuona umegeuka. I see you reformed. Ulikuwa una nini? What was wrong with you? Awe niache. I told her just leave me. Oh, wani wani mebadilika akasema. Okay, so you've, you've seen me having changed, okay? Si kama yule wa juzi na jana. You are not like the other time. Siku moja nilinuliza hivyo. One day she asked me that way. Oh, fine. Hata mimi nikahisi basi. Still I felt personal. Maana uokovu because salvation ni jirani yako akushuhudie kwamba you are never to tell you you are saved. Jirani yako ni huyo mkeo. Your neighbor is your wife. Au naishi naye. Or maybe whoever you stay with. Nikajihisi kweli basi. I felt truly. Mimi mwenyewe najisikia nimeokoka. I feel saved. Lakini nikapata shahidi. But I got the witness. Akaniambia mimi naona umebadilika. She told me I've seen you having changed. Kwani ulikuwa na nini? What was wrong with you? I told her. Kama unaona nimebadilika shukrani. If you mungu. see me reformed, thank God. Niache. Just leave me. Maana sasa anataka ni, nikae because she wants me to see that. kurudi. Ulikuwa ukanifanya hivi na mwenyewe nimesamia. And start re- repeating what I did. Hayo yote nimeyachukua ilikuwa ni makosa yangu mimi. I took that as my own mistake. Ni ache. I told her just Waniona nimebadilika he. You see me reform. Haya wewe shukuru Mungu. Na you thank God. Shukuru Mungu amwandeleshe. Thank God of the founder. Kwa kuokoa ndugu. For saving your brother here. Twende mbele. Let's move on. Paka leo tunaenda mbele. Even today we are moving on. Ukida kujua umeokoka you ushuhudiwe mema na hao unaoishi nao hapo the people you stay with should testify unto you kama hao wanakumaka saa yote hawa if they are shocked with you every time nao karibu people you stay around with wanakosoa njia zako they rectify your ways and you are out ushuhudiwe mema nothing good is talked Ayata about wakovu, now seek salvation maana yesu mwenyewe because jesus himself chuo kinasema the bible says alikuwa he grew kimo in stature akipendeza watu pleasing men na mungu and god wewe watu wanakuota kidole kila siku. People are pointing at you every day. Ila wewe wasema mimi sijui kitu. But you say I know nothing. Ushuhudi mema na majirani zako. Nothing is talked good about you. Wanakulaumu na lile. They blame you about this. Wanakulaumu na lile. They blame you about this. Wasema ah shauri yao. You say upon them. Ah. What? Yesu alikuwa kimo. Jesus grew in stature. Akipendeza Mungu na wanadamu. Pleasing God and human beings. Wanadamu hawapendezi hawa. Men are not pleased. Watakaopiga magoti wa kuombea ni akana nani? Who will kneel down and pray for you? Kio hao wenyewe hawaridhiki. If they are not satisfied with your yako, with your conduct, na misemo yako, with your utterances. Tafuta kwanza hao waridhika. Seek these people to be contented. Wakati wa mtu unashuhudiwa na nyumbani mwake. Your salvation is witness to you kwamba nimebadilika. My partner told me I've reformed. Kutoka siku hiyo from that day paka kesho and even to the future. Tusomee hapo tena. Read for us again the same verse. Je wewe unajifunza kwa nani? From who are you learning from? Read for us. Njoni kwangu ninyi nyote msumbukao na wenye kulemewa na mizigo nami nitawapumzisha. Jitieni nira yangu mjifunze kwangu kwa kuwa mimi ni mpole na mnyenyekevu wa moyo nanyi mtapata raha nafsini mwenu kwa maana nira yangu ni laini na mzigo wangu ni mwepesi come unto me all that labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn of me for i am meek and lowly in heart and you shall find rest unto your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light hallelujah hallelujah Bwana hapa ni patamu namna hii. Why is it so nice and sweet here? Mje kwangu msumbukao. Kama mtume all of you labor. Na ambao umelemewa na mizigo. And heavily laden. Anasema nitakupumzisha. He says I'll give you rest. Wamwendea Yesu huko umejaa sauti za wengine. You go to Jesus full Muganga of people. Alisema, voice, the physician said. Ni mirongo na babu yangu. I've been beaten by my grandfather. Lakini wacha nikaombewe. But let me go for prayer. Ujachoka wewe. You are not tired yet. Bado unamburuga. You still have the two days. You've not finished up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bado una mahali. You still have an area. Hujapafikia ku kuyamaliza ya huko you've not accomplished that usije kwa maombi maliza kwanza za huko don't come for prayers finish up the other Mana, side yesu because jesus anapomuzisha waliochoka give rest to those who are those who have got to the end hallelujah hallelujah maana ukija kwa bwana yesu because when you come to jesus huku mado at a time huja hujachoka you are not tired yet huja ono umesumbuka you don't feel you've suffered 
Kujaona njia zako unazifuata ni masumbufu. You don't feel you've gone to Bado waona hela zako bado you still treasure kule ambako ni mwisho. You still treasure the money can take you anywhere. Basi enda panza pako so kite mwisho. So go fast to the end. Maana kwa Yesu utapata kitu. Because to Jesus you'll never receive anything. Anaokoa waliofika mwisho. He saves those who go to the end. Na sasa umekuja kwa Yesu. And now you've come to Jesus. Ili afanye kazi kamili. For him to work completely. Baada ya yote, after all hata umetubulana. You've repented the curse. Sasa ujifunze kwa Bwana Yesu. Learn of him. Jifunze kusamea. Learn to forgive. Kuwa na amani na watu wote. Learn to have peace with all people. Wataka baraka kwa Mungu. You want blessing from God. Ujifunze sasa kujitia nira. Learn to put on the yoke. Ya kutolea Mungu zaka na dhabihu. Of giving out God tithe and offerings. And thanksgiving. Maana hiyo ndio njia ya baraka. Because that is the way to bless. Na ujapofanya hayo tena, jitie nira ya Bwana Yesu. Put on the yoke of Jesus. Kutafuta amani na watu wote. Seeking peace with all. Kutenda haki na majirani. Doing right to the neighbors. Ujitenge na siofaa mbele za Mungu. Separate yourself from ill from God. Ujifunze kusika amri zake Bwana Yesu. Learn to keep the commandments of Jesus. Maana huko ndio kuvaa nira yake. Because that you are putting on his yoke. Wa mtumikia Mungu kweli. You are serving God truly. Lakini hapa una nira isiyo ya Yesu umejivika. You have a yoke not of Jesus. Uongo, Peter and his lies. Majesty go to the guest house. Mipango ya kando. Affairs out of marriage. Basi. So raha rest ya kuona baraka kamili. To see blessings completely. Japo watu wazaka na nini? Though you are giving tithe and everything. You'll never see it. Maana wafanya mema kweli. Because you are doing good. Baadaye tena wafunika tena kama. Later on you cover down everything. Kwa matendo yako hayo for your evil works. I don't want to give you an example of a chicken. Ame, 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 ame he has carved everything Aka on the surface. Now the termites are here. Bite and pick. The chicks come to celebrate the, 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 the food. Then the chicken will cover everything down. Now, nothing anymore. The yoke of covering things down is here. Okay then, they start the journey again moving. Ndio hata imefika saa 12. That's why come late six, six in the evening. Zakuwa sasa nia ingie nyumbani kulala. Chicken has to come and Bado wanahamia juu juu. They are still panting and panting. Hata huko mlangoni bado wanatafuta tena. Even at the still seeking food. Hata huko ndani ya nyumba wanatafuta tena. In the house still seeking food. Ah. Okay. Ndio mimi ushanga kuku. I'm normally surprised with the chicken. Na ameshinda huko mikorosho. And he just stayed all there. Wale kuku ambao huwa hawa Hawapewi chakula wale. The chicken not fed. Wao wanaacho wanaenda kutafuta mtu wa nini? They are led to go and seek food. Watoto wa kuku wana shida. The chicks are suffering a lot. Che. 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 They just behind they are crying and crying. Chana wote ni mbio. They all day. Umeone kuku basi mchana amekaa ngaa baridini. A chicken at least resting at nusu dakika tayari amesimamata. It's only half a minute already moving ahead. Mana because he doesn't have the yoke to learn from. It's diligent to him. But at times covering everything down. That's why don't be that type of a Christian. Don't be that type of a Christian. That's why. Stay here. Stay here. Mkae humu stay here. Ukiona huingii katika raha. If you see you don't get to rest. Huingii katika raha. You don't get to rest. Baraka zile unashuhudia wa ndugu hupata. The blessings brethren wewe get. Uzioni. You don't see them. Amani ile inapatikana kwa Yesu wewe uipati. The peace of Jesus in Jesus you don't find. Unajifunza kwa nani? From who are you learning from? Unajifunza kwa nani? From who are you learning from? Ni maneno gani yako hapa moyoni mwako? Which words are you keeping in your heart? Umejivika nira ya nani? Whose yoke have you put upon yourself? Is it of Jesus Christ? His yoke is very easy. Na mzigo wake ni mwepesi. And his burden is very light. Ukijifunza kwake. If you learn of him then. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wewe unajifunza kwa nani? From who are you learning? Mimi nilikaa hapa tangu kijana. I was right here from the time I was still a youth. Sikuja hapa najua ufundi. I never came here. Hata msimeno ulikuwa sijui. I could not even hold a saw. I came from school, secondary school. I finished my exam, then I came here. 1981, I was late to school. I would have finished even campus. I was welcoming the workshop right here. By Pastor Silas Mzungu. By Pastor Charles. The father to Charles. He told me, young man, welcome. When there's a tent down here, we had a workshop in the place. Carpenting. And that man was a carpenter. He told me, welcome young man. Welcome. I told him, I come from Pingilikani. I know Pingilikani very well. At that time, the foreman was the late Lazarus Charo. 
the brother to the messenger of the Lord. Ke Elkana. The father to Elkana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So they welcome me. I never knew how to hold a hacksaw. But they told me, welcome in the workshop. Now when you hold a hacksaw, you direct your finger this way, okay? Then hold it, young man, okay? I started cutting and cutting. I loved it. Because I hate tuberculosis. I see the wellness right now. Those seasonally because I don't have the yoke of Jesus with me. Murmuring and blaming. The curse is still distressing me. At times coughing comes back. But because I want now. I want to learn. To learn from the Lord Jesus. To be warned, kuonywa, receiving warnings, and be teachable. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bas. That is it. I saw I can make a stool, kitanda, even a bed. Later on, I was taught about the roofing. Ya kwanza, the first church. I was sent one day by one brother. The foreman. Lazaro. That time was Zem, Zem. I can't remember they let Lazaro. He said go to Kagio. Kagio and construct a church. We had a preacher in Kagio. He was called Pastor Maina. A wooden church. Then you roof it. I've never gone alone the to construct. It was my first time go out and construct that church. I was sent to Kagio but the younger brother to the messenger of the Lord called William. He's right in Mombasa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He never knew much. Now I'm sent. They've seen I'm able to do something. So when I went there, I was told measure this way, measure this way. I, I never knew I could be sent somewhere. So when I was sent to Kagio, and the church elders trust me, I'll do very good work there. Ah. Okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But so we used to measure. I measured the wood. How I nearly sweat away. But when I go to sleep, ah, I I realize that I, made a mistake. I wake up in the morning. I remember how they used to treat me. We constructed the church. I don't know, 20 by 40. We wrote to the wooden and the wooden sides. For two weeks, we were done. Then we came back to the store. So I was already. Accomplished. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you never put on the yoke. That says, everybody to esteem the other better. Eh, we should not do anything. Everybody to esteem the other worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the yoke of Jesus too. Esteeming others worthy. Hallelujah. You've not got the rest of blessings. From who are you learning from? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are giving like who? You are giving just to fulfill the law. But you feel you are losing as if you are getting to the pit. You are fulfilling the law God says you give time. But not the voice of God commanding. The voice of God you feel you are losing. So you are not learning of him Jesus. How will God bless you? That's what you say to me. You say you are blessed. But you would have been blessed more than that. If you would be doing that. With the merriness in your heart. Not with sorrows. Because the yoke of Jesus says. Everybody to do as he determined in his heart. Not grudgingly. Or with necessity. Because God loves a cheerful giver. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
the yoke of Jesus, mungu, serving God mkunjufu, with an upright heart, si palazima, not with grudge or with necessity, yako, willingly yourself, mungu zaka na, na, na sadaka, knowing I've given God time, mungu. offerings I've given Jai, to God, whether hunger has come or not, ile amani, ile, the peace, na atende, kama kusudia, everybody to do as they decree, that is it, the rest in your soul will come, because you fulfill that of God, with humility, you put on the yoke of the Lord Jesus. With humility and politeness, we'll get the rest. Tomorrow we'll see blessings coming out you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wait for us again the same. From who are you learning from? Njoni kwangu, ninyi nyote msumbukao na wenye kulemewa na mizigo. Nami nitawapumzisha. Jitieni nira yangu, mjifunze kwangu, kwa kuwa mimi ni mpole na mnyenyekevu wa moyo, nanyi mtapata raha nafsi ni mwenu. Kwa maana nira yangu ni laini na mzigo wangu ni mwepesi. Come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Mimi, for me, hata mama aliposema mwanangu matumbo yameoza. When the mother said the intentions of the child, niomba nikiwa na hakika Mungu anaweza. I pray being certain God is able. Maana ni shahidi anaweza. Because I bear witnesses ever. Na mwana aliugua ukambi 1992. I have a child who succumbed to Mesley's town hiyo ya ukambi hiyo. That plague of Mesley's. Ilifagia watoto Malindi mwaka huo wa missionary huo. Kill so many children in Malindi. Ah. Okay. Vilio cries around. Ukambi. Missiles. Ukambi. Missiles. Ulikuwa tisho kubwa sana. It was a great threat. Ukambi ulikuwa tisho kubwa. Missiles was a great threat. Na mwaka wa 92. In 1992. Ulikuja kwa nguvu nyingi Kenya hii. It came with a lot of force to the entire country Kenya. Na dunia nzima ulikuwa tisho kubwa. And the whole world. It was a great plague. Vileo vilikuja vingi. Christ came in plenty. Mariakani lakini malindi. Mariakani but malindi. Mmoja amefelewa na watoto wake wawili. One two children died. Siku moja. In a day. Yule ni wangapi? One What? more than that. Ulikuwa tisho ugonjwa. It was a great threat. Ukaja nyumbani kwangu na It came to my home. Ulivuma hata hapa Mariakani. It was so pronounced in Mariakani right here. Watoto wangu walipitia chukuchuku. My children Lakini mmoja escaped narrowly, ah! but one. Mmoja, one of them. Anaitwa James. Call James. Ndio mimi hata nimeoza sijui wapi. That's why nina ushahidi. I bear witness. Mtu wa aina yuko huja. The fourth person is there will come. Atapalipoosha pakapona. Where is rotten to be healed? The child was starting to walk. He was attacked by missiles. He went back to zero. All the hair was wounded. He was bald-headed. It attacked Pastor Pascal. My partner had gone there. The child had passed away. I remained with James. Ananuka harufu ya kuoza. He was thinking in old words. He told we the novel here. Imekuwa nyeusi kama makaa hapa. Was dark like chapel. Alama ya kuonyesha huko ndani. The mark to show inside. Matumbo yameoza kwenye. The intentions were wrong. Maana akipumua ni kuoza kwenye. When he's breathing it's so old words. Amerudi hasa kutembea hakuna tena. He has gone back he could not walk more than that. Nywele zimengoka zote. The hair is rooted out all of it. I went to the founder of mother one day I told her, mama, I told her, mama, to that point, it's all your prayers here. Yeah. The whole week you could not test anything. You hold the mouth first. And dip a spoon of milk. Mama, the founder of mother told me, Rimba, Rimba. Jesus said, one won't live by bread, but by the word of Christ. We live because God said we live. So don't wait. He has taken the whole glass of milk and say, okay. Go home and tell your partner. If it's ours, he lives. If it's not ours, go to judge. So we were numb from there. Usiku huo that night midnight mtoto the child harufu ya kuoza ananuka 
He was smelling and stinking. My partner had gone to the Vita. neighbor. But when you look around truly, hapa tumboni, hapa kwenye utovu, the hapa. navels area here, la, There's a dark circle. Huko ndani, Showing inside, it's rotten. Lakini, but, We've been given the word by the founder mother. A man doesn't live by bread by the word of Christ. We believe in that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The whole week we could not eat anything. But by the word of the founder mother. Say if his hours will recover. And when the child woke up that morning. He started opening up the eyes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He started opening up the eyes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was thinking when he was breathing out. Now you think, what about the stomach inside? How is it? Show me it's full of wounds inside the tomb. But God of the fourth one came to that child. We thought he never grow tall. Because I think the cells could Mana not work. Because he was, starting to, he was starting to walk. The hair had rooted out. But God or the founder. After a number of years, he started growing up again, trying to walk and struggling to walk. And he used to walk higher, but is now kind of crippled because of the missionary. By the prayers of missionary, that year our father prayed, go to save us from the plague of missions. Go to save us from the plague of missions. The old world, even today, you, should you see this today? Do you hear the missus anywhere in the world? Ukambi hasa ukambi. Missus especially. Hata ukija ni kama mwili moto kidogo. When it comes like fever then it goes away. Kwa maombi yao ya baba missionary. By the press of a father. Bwana tuokoe na taoni ya ukambi. The Lord to serve from the plague of missus. Kwa 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 kesho. Maombi yao mwenye haki. The press of the righteous. Haku omba kwa waongofu tu. Hali omba dunia nzima. He prayed for the whole world. And truly, when you look around, no message is coming. Prayers by our prayer. That child, I thought he could not grow. He is even taller than me. I think he has surpassed my height. The fourth person came. Then he was given a lot of knowledge. Hallelujah. 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 Yani mtu wa aina akija when the fourth person comes anaweka uzima he brings the land ambao ni tele that is abundant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anaweka uzima ambao ni tele. He brings abundant life. Ndio muwe huu mjue tuna Mungu aoko wai. That's why be here knowing we have Lakini wewe unajifunza kwa nani? But from who are you learning from? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unajifunza kwa nani? From who are you learning from? Uponyaji ambao umeupata the healing you obtain kwa sababu because ni mtu aile amekuja pale the fourth person has come hakika kwa jina la Yesu it's very certain in the name of Jesus Hallelujah Hallelujah so mtu aile akaja the fourth person came mtu aile akaja the fourth person mtu aile akija fourth person came anatia uzima he'll bring the light kisha anatia uzima tele he'll bring it abundantly Hallelujah. 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 Ah. Okay. Wewe uko humu. You are here. Kujaingia raha kamili ya uzima. You don't have the perfect rest of life. Yeah, nyumbani mwako na mumeo na mkeo. In your home with your husband and your wife. Na mama viala. And the mother-in-law. Na baba viala. The father-in-law. Ni mahali gani? Where? Wakata kufundishwa. Do you reject to be taught? Amen. Amen. Raha kamili. The rest perfectly. Raha kamili. The perfect rest. Anasema, he says, I am meek and low. Rangu ni laini. My yoke is very Mujifunze easy. Kwangu. And learn of me. Kana mimi ni mupole na minyekevu. Because I'm meek and low. Mutapata raha. You'll get the rest. Nafsi ni mwe. In your soul. Neno, neno inaetua raha. Nafsi. Something called rest in the soul. Raha. The rest in the soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Raha nafsi ni mwe. The rest in your soul.
Raha the rest. Mbona kitu cho ni kizuri sana. Why is it so precious? Some tena hapo. Real brother get Raha the rest. Haleluya. Haleluya. Raha nafsi ni mwako. The rest in your soul. Uzima uje. The life to come. Watele. Abundantly. Maana ni mtu wa aina yamekuja. Because pari. the fourth person has come. Maana umeungama ile lana. Because you've confessed the cha baba na mama. You hid your parents. Uondoe aibu. You do away well with shame. Umefanya yote hata shemegi naye awe mke awe mume. You've done all even your in-law to be your wife. Dhambi ya mauti. The sin of it, kusema ile kweli be able to say the truth utapata raha ya uzima you will get the rest Ata of pale life. yesu afike atafika where jesus could not access Ata ule mfupa access. yesu hajafika kuuponya atafika even the bond that was popping jesus will come and heal you maana umekubali kujifika nira ya bwana yesu because you accepted to put kusema on the ile job. kweli ambayo hata ulificha baba ni mume ni mkeo to say the truth you hid your wife yale ya yasemu duniani unayasema yote what is not spoken out there you say maana yesu anasema ungame ni dhambi zenu because jesus said ninyi kwa nyinyi na kuombeana confess your first one another and pray for another utapata raha hata pale haja hapa fika uwezo wa bwana Yesu you'll get the rest pale 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 where Jesus has not visited kuna mahali pengine ni mbali hata daktari huwezi kumwambia some areas are very far you can't tell the doctor huko Mombasa huko very fine Mombasa down there hata kule Mombasa ambako even in Mombasa where hata mkeo sio Yesu mwambie angalia you're not easy to yes, tell your wife aponyo. Jesus will heal you even that far Mana because umesema ile kweli ambayo haisemi huko duniani. You said the truth that is not spoken in the world. Dhambi, sin. Umejifika nile ya Bwana Yesu. You put on the yoke of Jesus. Inasema it says afichaye dhambi zake atafanikiwa. One covering his sins will be prosper. Lakini azungamaye na kuziacha. But to so confess and to say rehema. We'll get the mercy. Sasa now useme ile kweli you say the truth mbele za mhubiri before the preacher ile kweli ambayo huko duniani the truth else there kama umejivua nguo as if you've undressed to say hakika surely mtu aini atakuja the fourth person will come hata kule Mombasa even father in Mombasa amen amen ambako si rahisi hata umeonyesha rafiki yako that kabisa it's not easy to show your friend yesu atafika kule jesus, town jesus will come down in town kuna town there's a town ya mashetani kule where the devils dwell bombolulu down there hawa ni wapi where is it likoni ndio mbali is it likoni that far mbali ni wapi where is far <laughs> amujui don't you know haleluya <laughs> haleluya maana wengine mko huku because some are here you are here lakini kule hamna raha maana kuna but, mahali mbali ya kujafika mtu wa aina hajafika huko there's an area in your body the fourth person has not been hamjavaa nira ya bwana yesu you've not put on the yoke of jesus umekataa kujifunza kwa yesu you've rejected to learn from jesus ni nira gani unakataa kujifunza which yoke are you refusing to put on upon yourself haleluya 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 mbona hapo kuna kuna ovyo tusomee tena tufunge read for us we wind up yani tusome maneno mengi na wewe What, what no, ni moja tu. The one is only one. Wataka raha na asili mwako. You want rest in your soul. Wajifunza kwa nani? From who are you learning from? Wasema nimeongama yote. You say I've confessed all. Ah uh ah. -uh. No. Mungu si dhalimu hata saa kazi yako. God is not just to forget your work. Mbona una mahali huwezi kufika? Why there's an area you can't Una mahali unapagogopa kupasema ile. There's an area you fear saying that. Hapo ndio pana kunyima raha yako. That's what is denying you your rest. Umekataa kujivika nira ya Bwana Yesu. You reject to put on the yoke of Jesus. Haleluya. Haleluya. Kutoka leo mwambie Bwana from today tell the Lord niombee moyo unaojifunza kwako wewe Bwana Yesu Create me a heart that learns from you Jesus Sipati raha nafsi ni mwangu I don't get the rest in my soul Katika ndoa yangu in my marriage katika kazi yangu in my own work katika mashamba yangu in my farms maana because sijifunzi kwako I don't learn of you Na toa nitakavyo I give as I will Na tubu nitakavyo I repent as I wish Na ungama nitakavyo I confess as I wish Lakini ile kweli kabisa ile unayoniagiza But the truth you command Ninaogopa I fear share Sijajifunza kwako I've not learned of you Ndio maana sijaingia raha nafsi That's why I've not got to the rest in my soul. Bwana mimi nilikuwa na Mombasa nyingi ya Why? kufiki Yesu. I heard so many areas in my body. Bwana kanijalia. But the Lord enabled me. Bwana kanijalia. The Lord enabled me. Bwana kanijalia. The Lord enabled me. Ikawa hata nikienda kwa mama mwanzilishi na kumwambia mama. I used to go to the founder mother and tell her. Mimi nina mateso. I have problems. Akaniambia mwanangu. She told me my son. Wewe for you. Ukaenda pale ukaambiwa unaangaliwa pale. Should you go to the facilities? You'll feel you're dying tomorrow. Endo kaseme kweli kwa watu wa Mungu. God say the truth to the men of God. Watakuombea utapona. They'll pray for you'll be healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Nikasema ikiwa kule kwetu I said if in our village hata matangani ulikuwa unasema yote in mama yuko hapo in the field you could speak anasema matangani hakuna aibu they said nothing like chief ndio kibaya death is bad atanga ya kwetu zamani hizo normally the barrier is in our village mtu anazikwa alafu mnakaa hapo siku saba one is buried then you stay for seven more days siku hizi wachonyi wamechoka now the chonyi people are tired takaa hapo watacheza so they stay there dancing na kutukana na kutukana and insulting yani tupu za, za mtu zinatajwa wazi wazi kabisa wazi wazi all the shit is spoken openly lakini kiangoa leo ni mwisho but should we be told this is the end today kesho kana na hayo tomorrow should we repeat the same napigwa fine na wazee you will be fine by the elders wanasema kibaya ni kifo they say evil is death wanasema ni siku ya kufarijiana basi matuzi matupu this is the day to comfort hakuna hata kuna mupo hapo nothing like a kuna kuna mkasangwana nothing like a daughter in law kuna baba siala nothing like the father in law likutokalo nena what comes out you speak lakini kiangua leo ni mwisho but should be told is the end nao ufunge king shut up your mouth heshima inakuja sasa the owner comes now haya baba siala now father in law mume amukaje morning auntie lakini jana hiyo heshima ilikuwa yesterday you never heard that honor to him ndio maana hakuna raha ya uzima that's why no rest of life in that area wana wakati wanavua nira ya heshima kwa there's wazazi kwa baba zia la kwa there's a time they bring that wana watukana they insult their parents na kuna wakati ndio ni wakati wa heshima and there's a time they honor their parents ndio maana heri ya uzima hakuna that's why no life in them lakini kwa Yesu but Jesus kila wakati ujifike nira yake every time put on his yoke na ujifunze kwake and learn from him utapata raha siku zote you'll get the rest all days siku zote siku zote siku zote all days you'll get the rest hallelujah hallelujah je wewe una raha mali gani which area don't you have the rest so man great for us okay joni kwangu ninyi nyote msumbukao na wenye kulemewa na mizigo Nami nitawapumzisha. GTN ni raha yangu, mjifunze kwangu kwa kuwa mimi ni mpole na mnyenyekevu wa moyo. Nanyi mtapata raha nafsi mwenu. Kwa, kwa maana ni raha yangu ni laini na mzigo wangu ni mwepesi. Come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me for I am meek and lowly in heart and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Basi mimi nimepata raha kwingi kwingi. So I've got the rest in so many areas. Raha kwingi kwingi. The rest in so many areas. Bwana ngine At times I sit down and think deeper too. Pale napo papone. This area to be healed. Pale napo papone. And that other area to be healed. Papone. And this other area to be healed. Basi mtu akaniambia mimi nina shida. So should one tell me as a problem. Na hakika Yesu ni muweza. I'm certain Jesus is able. Aamini. To one believe. Hallelujah. 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 Wewe umekosa raha wapi? Where do you lack the rest? Joni kwangu msumbukao. Come on to me all of you labor. Wenye kulemewa na mizigo. And heavily laden. Nami nitawapumzisha. And I'll give you rest. Waja na hujachoka. You come but you're not tired. Waja na mburuka hujaimaliza. You come but you're not done with the shrines. Waja na ulivyo tabiriwa na mtaalamu. You come but the expert. Ulitoka huko kwa sababu huna hela. You came from there because Lakini bado una sauti ya huko uliambiwa mbavu iko hivi. You still have the voice of the expert. Na yako hivi. The liver is this way. Na kidney iko hivi. And the kidney is this way. And this way. Tena waja kwa Yesu. Again you come to Jesus. Maliza hayo kwanza ya finish. Finish up the expert's voice. Maana kwa Yesu utapata kitu. Because to Jesus you never get anything. Jesus anapumzisha waliochoka gives rest to those who are tired. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anapumsha waliochoka. He gives rest to those who are tired. Haya, now uko humu pia. You are here too again. Nataka baraka kabisa raha hiyo. You want blessings that rest. Ujaliwe. Be enabled. Sasa kujifunza kwa Yesu. Now to learn of Jesus. Umepona kweli? You are healed truly. Umekuwa mzima? You are well. Yesu akamwambia yule rafiki aliyeponywa. Jesus told the friend that was here. Rafiki healed, umekuwa mzima. Friend you are all right now. Enda zako. Go thy way. Usifanye dhambi tena. Don't repeat sin anymore. Sije nikakupata less the most worst. Kubwa zaidi ya haya. Get upon. Maana yake uende ujifunze. The meaning is go learn from me. Enda zako. Go thy way. Usifanye dhambi tena. Don't repeat sin anymore. Nisije nikakupata lile kubwa zaidi ya haya. Less the most worst comes upon you. Maana yake ya kujifunza. The meaning is to learn from him. Ndio wengi mliona miujiza. That's why many saw miracles. Yakupona, to be healed. Yakubarikiwa. And blessings. Lakini mkafika mahali. But to go to a point. Kaja kujifunza kwa Bwana. You forsook learning of the Lord Jesus. Ukasema zinaenda wapi? You question where does it go?
Kuna siku nilipata kibarua mahali. There's a day God had employed. The man of God told. Akaniambia kuna watu watakujengea kanisa lao. He told me there are people who want their church to be constructed. Ena koteshe ni kama fundi usifanye kama go and work idea as a brother not a relief. Utapata kalamu ya mtoto. You'll get a pen for your child. Na fee ya mtoto. And the school fees for the child. Kaenda. I went. Ah. Okay. Kukatoka pikipiki huko ndani. A motorbike I got a motorbike out of the payment. Tena. Again. Ah. Fine. Nimetamani siku nyingi nami kushirikia ngawa kazi ya Mungu. I decided many days to partake in the work of God one day. Nikaona nimepata kabahasha. I got an envelope with me. Nikamletea mchungaji. I bought the man of God mchungaji. Mtumishi wa Mungu. The servant of God. Nyumba ya mwanzio wakati huo imesimama na bidambiu. Mwanzilishi house was stuck. Anambia mzee I told him kazi uliyoniambia niende. The work you told me to go and work. Nashukuru. I'm grateful. Nilikwambia uniombe nipate pikipiki. I told you to pray for me I get a motorbike. Oh, fine. Alafu tena. Then again take the parcel here the cement for mwanzilishi house okay he looked at me rimba rimba with the burden of school fees and the problems you know that you have he shook me and told me praise god he held and shook my hand he told me again praise god Okay. Praise God again. I knew I've been blessed from that point. I've got the content. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I covered my house with and right there. What I had put in the envelope was not less than 60 bags of cement. That time. 2010. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na nimefanya hivyo and I did so kwa moyo mweupe with a pure heart kwa moyo wa hiari with a willing heart nimejifunza I've learned by yes from Jesus kutenda kama doing nilivyosikia moyoni as I felt in my heart willingly sipalazima not by grudge karatasi niliondoka the papers went away tena. it's no longer there hayo makaratasi those papers ukija hayako tena kwa jina when you yes. come they are no longer there in the name of Jesus they went away. Nikapataraha, I got the rest. Ya kutoka kwa makaratasi of getting out of the pulpit and papers. Mahali, abiding in a place ambapo that hata roho inasikia. The soul feels in a man. It has peace. Hata kwako wewe to you too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lakini wajifunza kwa nani? But from who are you learning from? Ni nani wajifunza kwake? Who are you learning from? Anatoa huko anasikia kama ananyang'anya. His giving feeling is robbed. Bas so that is it. You'll never get the rest in you. That's why this afternoon, tell the Lord, truly I saw miracles, I saw blessings, but I don't have the rest because I forsook learning from you, Jesus. Create in me a spirit of moderation and politeness, learning from you, that I get to the rest of learning, the rest of blessings, the rest of peace, the rest of prosperity, because, because Christ, you are not respectful pastors. I ask you to stand up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Truly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, so, to pen the wimbo kedog. Give us a song. Asante bwana Yesu metenda mambo maku. Asante bwana Yesu metenda mambo maku. Asante Yesu metenda mambo maku. Asante kwa uzima metenda mambo maku. Asante Yesu metenda mambo maku. Naga umeponya magonjo metenda mambo maku. Asante Yesu metenda mambo maku. Asante kwa amani metenda mambo maku. Asante Yesu
I ask you to close our eyes. Don't despair. The word of God doesn't come to judge but to save. Don't say what will I do. When the word of God comes, it comes to save, not to judge. Don't deny yourself. When one is preached, he denies himself. I'm no more worthy. I'm totally a sinner. That's why you're denying yourself. Be happy in your heart. So I'm one. Who doesn't learn from the Lord Jesus? You tell the Lord, thank you. Because I have not got to the rest. Because I am one of shame. I am truly serving, but not perfectly how Jesus commanded me. That way, I have not put on the yoke of the Lord Jesus. You are happy. It comes to save, not to condemn. Be happy. Thank you, Jesus. You tell the Lord, great me to be made to be one who learns from you, Lord. That I attend the rest of the people. Abandon life. The rest of peace. The rest of peace in my home. The rest of wellness. You tell him thank you. When one is preached with the nice he lives here no peace with him. He calls himself full of problems. He's spoken, don't be of problems. Be happy. You tell the Lord thank you for your word. I've known why I don't get to rest. Of oh, peace in my home with my husband. It's so because I don't have the yoke of Jesus with me. To be submissive. There's an area I don't have the yoke of Jesus. To love. To receive one. Lord create me. According to your word. You tell the Lord thank you. Baba tunakushukuru. Mwenyezi mungu wambingu na inchi. Unae dhihirika kwetu kwamba wewe ni yule jana na leo na hata milele bwana. Umeona ndugu yule ulimwitia amani, uzima tele, furaha tele, lakini hajajaliwa kujifunza kwako bwana. Anafika mahali anaacha kujifunza kwako. Anafanya yaliyo kinyume si yale anayohubiriwa. Ndio maana anabidi kutumikia lakini haingii raha ya baraka kamili. Raha ya kufanikiwa kamili katika kazi zake haingii japo anajivunia kutoa zao kamili maana ana mahali hajifunzi kwako ana uchungu ana kulaumu ana kutoa hesabu wengine bora Bwana mjalie kila mmoja anayekujia mchana wa leo kuwa mwanafunzi wako Bwana awe yule ajivikaye nira yako maana ni laini na mzigo wako ni mwepesi Umujalie kila mmoja roho ijifunzayo kwako Bwana. Kipawa hicho muumbie kila mmoja roho ya wanafunzi ijifunzayo kwako Bwana ili afikie raha kamili ya uzima kamili ya amani kamili ya baraka kamili. Maana angalia anajihisi hajafikia raha. Maana ana mahali hajajifunza. Asante Bwana kusamehe watu wako walio hapa walio nje. Ponya kila nafsi ambayo imekubali moyoni mwake baba hata kule mbali kujakuwa mtu wa aina bwana ukaonekane maishani mwake akujiavyo msamee kwa kinywa chake msamee na ukamponye bwana kwa chino la Yesu kila naye kujia kwa kinywa chake bwana kule mbali anakoumwa ambako hujafika kuwa mtu wa aina maana hajakubali kujifunza kwako na leo amekubali Anazo kujia ndugu yule aliye hapa aliye nje msamee umuumbie roho ya wanafunzi awe tayari kujivika nira yako maana ni laini uzibo wako si mwepesi si, si mzito bwana ni mwepesi 
ili afikie raha uliyomuitia asante bwana kutenda hebu ndugu mpendwa beloved nimekwambia neno la mungu alije kuhukumu i told you the word of god doesn't come Naja to kubariki na kuokoa it comes to bless and save sikia moyoni kubarikiwa feel blessed in your heart sema asante bwana kwa kunibariki say thank you lord for blessing me kwa neno lako bwana through your word lord Umeona ni mimi nakujia lakini sijachoka. You've seen I've come to you but I'm not tired. Bado moyoni mwangu na sauti za waganga. I still have the physician voice in my heart. Naja lakini sijachoka. I come to you but not tired. Na sijajifunza kwako. I've not learned from. Mwambie Bwana asante. Tell the Lord thank you. Niumbie roho ya wanafunzi. Create in me a discipleship spirit ili nifikie raha yako kamili. That I attain the rest. Tumuombeni Mungu. Let's pray to our God. Baba Mwenyezi Mungu wa mbingu na nchi. Bwana Mungu wa Ibrahimu Isa kana Jacobo Mungu wa Baba Mwisho na Mama Mwenzishi katika jina la Mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristo tunakushukuru Bwana kwa neema zako nyingi neema zako nyingi Bwana nazo turehemu Baba jalia mafundisho na elimu yako Bwana ya kutupaa maisha umeona ndugu yule dada yule Bwana Mwitia amani na uzima kamili. Lakini umeona Bwana hana kujifunza kwako Bwana. Hana kujifunza kwako Bwana. Hajaingia rahani mwako maana hana kujifunza kwako Bwana. Ninakushukuru Bwana Yesu. Ninakushukuru mchungaji mwema ni asante. Nakushukuru Bwana Yesu ni asante. Nakushukuru Bwana Yesu ni asante. Nakushukuru mchungaji mwema ni asante Bwana. Tukuzwe mchungaji mwema ni asante. Raha na sini. Raha na sini. Raha na sini Bwana. Asante Mungu wa mwanaishi. Nakushukuru Bwana Yesu. Samee kila mmoja na ukamponye Bwana. Ukamponye Bwana mwilini mwake. Pale wewe hujakuwa mtu wa aina Bwana. Ukawe mtu wa aina kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu Bwana. Pale Bwana hujakuwa mtu wa aina kwa katika nafsi ya Bwana ukamponye kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu ni asante Bwana. Nakushukuru Bwana Yesu kusamehe kuwajalia watu wako kuwa wanafunzi baba. Wawe wale wajifunza wao kwako. Maana uwezo uliwapa wanafunzi Bwana. Asante Bwana Yesu. Uwezo uliwapa wanafunzi. Uwezo uliwapa wanafunzi wako Bwana. Uwezo uliwapa wanafunzi wa kuponya na kutoa pepo uliwapa wanafunzi baba. Wawe wale wajifunzao kwako Bwana. Asante Mungu wa mwanzilishi. Asante kutenda kutimiza. Amen. Asante Bwana Yesu. Haleluya! Haleluya! uwezo ulipewa wanafunzi the power was given to the disciples akawapa uwezo he gave them power wa kutoa pepo to cast out demons kokote waendako wherever they'll be going mwanafunzi like a disciple that is amen amen mwanafunzi ni wewe na mimi the disciple is you and i hallelujah hallelujah uwezo ulipewa wanafunzi the power was given to the disciples akawapa uwezo he gave them power mamlaka and the authority kokote waendako wherever they'll be going tuona mtu hata mwanawe anaoma kuombea anaogopa a child has the fever you can't pray for your child because you are not a disciple kwa hukumikana nini what is condemning you here ana unahukumika na misemo yako you are condemned by your art you are not a disciple yet ujasiri wakosa kwa nini why do you lack the tenacity hata kama kuna jambo la kuhukumu ambie pepo muongo kwa jina la Yesu. Even if there's something condemning you. Wewe ndio unanifanya na maneno yasiyofaa toka kwa jina la Yesu. The devil you're the one enslaving me here. Bwana nisamee. Lord forgive. Alafu ombea mwana Then pray for your child by faith. Si ni wanafunzi wa Bwana. We are the disciples of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Tufunge macho. We close our eyes. Ndugu mmoja atufungie ibada kwa maana. One brother to close with a prayer. Baba wa mbinguni, Mungu wa mwanzilishi. Mungu liye nani ya mtumishi wako? Baba wewe ni Mungu unayefanya kazi kila wakati baba na kazi zako tunaziona maana ni dhahiri baba. Tazama bwana Yesu neno ambalo lilituma ndani ya mtumishi wako bwana mchana huu baba. Ni neno bwana la wokovu bwana. Nasema na unapotuma neno bwana halikuja kutuhukumu lakini limekuja kutufungua baba na kutupa baraka ili tuweze kusonga mbele bwana. Tazama bwana Yesu hatuingii kwa raha kamili maana baba hatujifunzi kwako bwana. Tunajivi, tunajituika mizigo mizito bwana na wewe unasema mzigo wako ni mwepesi bwana tunaweka mioyo migumu migumu na wewe unasema nia yako na nira yako ni nyepesi ye mungu mwanzilishi tujifunze kwako ili tuweze kuingia kwa raha kamili bwana mungu wa mwanzilishi asante baba asante kwa neno la kutufungua e mungu liye hai asante kwa neno ambalo umelitia ndani ya mtumishi wako baba mungu wa mwanzilishi tuwajalie bwana mioyo ile ya kujifunza bwana kujifunza kwako bwana tusijifunze bwana Yesu mambo mengi tusijifunze kupitia dunia lakini tujifunze kwako tuweze kuingia kwa raha zile ambazo umeziweka bwana zipo raha ambazo uliziahidi ambazo mwanadamu baba unamtakia aingie lakini hatufiki maana baba sisi wenyewe bwana hatujaweza kufurahia kazi yako hatujajivika nira bwana ile yako e mwanzi ambao ni nyepesi kujifunza kwako baba Mungu wa mwanzilishi tusamehe bwana sisi bwana ni wana wako baba E Mungu mwanzilishi tuwaje mbele zako. Naamini mtumishi wa Mungu vile bwana ulivyomtumia na vile bwana Yesu ametuombea. Nasi baba tukadai mbele zako bwana. Naamini bwana Yesu utakwenda kutufungua bwana. Kila mmoja alivyodai baba. Kila mmoja kwa hitaji lake Mungu mwanzilishi utakwenda kutufungua kwa utukufu wa jina lako ili bwana jina lako litukuzwe ndani ya mwanao bwana. Sante bwana kwa Jumapili nzuri hii baba ambao bwana umetupa neno la kutufungua na kutusaidia bwana. Sisi pamoja na miji yetu, sisi pamoja na familia zetu, walio karibu na walio mbali e Mungu mwanzilishi bwana. Tazama bwana Yesu, familia ya mwanzilishi bwana, na yeweka bwana mikononi mwako. Kupitia wao bwana, leo bwana angawa nasi tunaonekana kuwa watu bwana Yesu, kupitia maombi ya mwanzilishi na missionary e Mungu mwanzilishi, na msingi huu aliouweka hapa baba. Leo bwana tunalitukuza jina lako hapa bwana. Tunaona amani baba, tunaona uzima Tunaona kwenda mbele, tunaona kufanikiwa kwa kazi mbalimbali ya Mungu wa mwanzilishi. Asante baba, finika kila mmoja kwa familia hiyo bwana. Watoto wote wa jukuu na hata vitu kubwa na na yote bwana ambaye bwana anahusika ana katika mji huo bwana. Mpe uzima na amani bwana. Wasaidie bwana kwa kila jambo baba. Wafunike Mungu wa mwanzilishi. Bwana nyumba mtumishi wako, Mungu wa mwanzilishi, zidi kuifunika ilinde bwana ipe amani maana mji wako unapokuwa na amani mtumishi wako na anakuwa na amani ndio atakafanya kazi yako bwana kwa amani bwana naye bwana mpe amani e mungu mwanzilishi mpe ulinzi wa hali ya juu mpe afya mpe uzima e mungu mwanzilishi bwana kila wakati bwana mpe neno la kutusaidia bwana naye bwana umpe bwana kule kutochoka bwana kutupa neno la kutusaidia bwana Sante Mungu mwanzilishi bwana kila mmoja aliyemleta na mimi nitamrekesha kwa amani baba kupitia njia mbalimbali kupitia vifaa mbalimbali baba na wiki nzima hii Mungu mwanzilishi bwana na kuendelea na amini utakwenda kuwa mtu wa nne bwana katika kazi zetu utakwenda kuwa mtu wa nne bwana katika kupata amani kwetu na katika kupona kwetu utakwenda kuwa mtu wa nne Mungu mwanzilishi bwana Sante bwana kule kutenda baba Sante bwana kutimiliza ni katika jina la Yesu nimeomba na kuamini Karibu mama, karibu. Welcome mama. Ninawasalimu katika jina la Bwana Yesu. Na Mungu awabariki sana. Amen. wapi injili yo? Yende wapi injili ya Yesu? Yende wapi injili yo? Yende wapi injili ya Yesu? 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 Yende wapi injili ya Yes